Hi, I'm Judy from Judy Kins. You know how much I like working with paper. Well, now I'm into plastic. Take a look at this clear sheet of plastic here that's cut out in the shape of a tag. This is the round tag album from Clear Scraps. They have a huge variety of shapes and sizes. Now when you start out, you got to remember to remove the plastic liner that protects the sheet of plastic here so that it doesn't scratch when it's in shipping. Because this panel is so clear, I could attach the photo from the front, but I'd really want to attach it from the back. And since you can see through it, you're going to actually see the adhesive as well. So I found that the trio adhesive is also clear. Just apply that trio on the front of your photograph, which is a little different than what you're used to. And then center this in the middle of the panel, kind of towards the top. And you notice that you see just a little bit of the adhesive, but not too much that distracts from the photo. Now this is going to be the top panel of my little album here. And because you can see through it, I want all the photos to align up behind each other. And the way that I mount the next photo is I take a second sheet of the plastic here and just take my photograph, this is the back of the photo, and I just line it right up. And now when you see the photos all together, it's just hidden behind the top layer. Now on this panel, I want to stamp the whole front of this sheet here. I've actually mounted the photo on the back. I've laid a little piece of eclipse tape over the top of this because when I stamp over the whole surface, I don't want to stamp in the center here where the photograph is. I'm using the Judykins Bolio stamp. They have four coordinating images and they can be tiled together to make wonderful backgrounds. And this particular one is a stamp of a map. Now I'm just going to ink up my stamp I'm using permanent ink from Judykins because a regular ink will not dry on the plastic. Another layer of ink, and this time I'm going to flip my stamp, stamp it right next to the other image. What's great about this particular image is you notice that the lines don't match up perfectly, but when I complete the stamping of this background, you'll never know that it was in strips. Once I finish stamping, I just peel off that eclipse tape and you'll see that the photograph has no stamp on top of it. Now here's my panel that's all finished. You notice that I've added some of the color here in the background and the color is transparent. The way that I did that is I mixed a little diamond glaze with dye-based ink and if you want to see that technique, you can watch my episode called Forever Diamonds. Now you know me. I like playing around and experimenting with different things. So on the back of this panel, I'm actually going to paint with watercolor. I'm using some watercolor paints here that I'm squeezing out onto just a little piece of plastic. I've got light blue and dark blue. And now I'm going to mix it with diamond glaze because diamond glaze helps to adhere it onto the plastic. It's a clear adhesive, but it could be mixed with all different types of inks and paints. So I very carefully paint on my panel and you notice I'm leaving some of those areas open and the reason why is because I'm going to be adding a second color over the top of that to give it a two-tone effect and it's just going to look stunning. And you notice I'm working on the back of the panel. Now this just takes about 10 minutes to dry. So while that's drying, let me show you how my panel looks after I've put on a second layer of paint, which I used some greens. Now I'm not quite finished yet. I want one more detail along the side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little white paint and mix it with equal portions of diamond glaze, blend it together, and I'm going to use my Bolio stamp here with this beautiful kind of Baroque finish. And you just take your paintbrush and you tap that paint right on the Bolio. Turn it over and stamp it right on that panel. And now that white paint is going to stick to this plastic. 
Now because the diamond glaze is a glue, I need to clean this off right away. I just take a paper towel and a little water on there and I just wipe it right off of my stamp and then I'm good to go for the next project. Now this third panel is a photograph of my husband Rob and I after a long day of tiptoeing in all of those tulips. We just had to take a little bit of a rest. I used the same technique in the last panel where I stamped one of the Baleo images all the way around it and I masked the photo so I don't have any of these passport stamps on top of the photo. So here I have two different colors of watercolor mixed with the diamond glaze that I'm going to paint on the back of this panel. Now since this takes a little bit of time to dry, if you happen to have painter's remorse and you decide that, oh, I really didn't want the paint to be in this one area, you can actually wipe away the paint off of the plastic with a little damp paper towel. So let me just remove a little bit of this paint in a couple areas here. In these areas where I've removed the paint, I'm going to use some water-based metallic markers. I'm just going to color in to the stamped area here. And when I turn this over, because my panel is clear, you'll be able to see the gold right through that clear panel. The final step is to add one more coating of paint. And all I did was I added a little bit of white to this brown and purple mixture here to make the last coating of paint a little lighter. And when I flip this over, you can see the dark and the light together makes all this extra texture. Now you might be wondering why I was doing so many different techniques on this one album here. Actually, the thing that's great about it is because the album is clear, you can kind of see through it and I can build all of these different layers. I have this green and blue panel with my little flourished embellishment here on the top and you can just barely see some of the color through that. I have my next panel here, this photograph of a building in Amsterdam. You can see my map. What I love about this is even though this panel was painted with reds and greens, you can see the blue through it. My next panel has just one embellishment on it. It's very simple. This has some glitter in it that was mixed with the diamond glaze. And you can see this beautiful photograph of all these flowers that were at this one park. And finally, my last panel just has the photograph with nothing else on it. What's nice about that is you can see all this texture through the album. So I just attached this locking ring and now I have this beautiful album commemorating my trip to Amsterdam. Let me show you a couple of other albums that are really different. Now here's another variation that my friend made up and you notice that it's got really bright colors and these beautiful ribbons on the side. Again, look at how beautiful this is because the album is clear and you can see the photograph behind that front cover page. This one is my favorite because it's a combination of both paper and plastic. It's cut out in the shape of the word baby with all of this beautiful detailing along the edges. You can see when you open up the panels, you've got all of your photos and everything hidden inside. Now the next time you're at the grocery store, when they ask you if you want paper or plastic, tell them you want both. I'll see you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.